What up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, whoa, I just got really close to the camera. It has been a full week since summer has started for me and I am so excited. I honestly, I love fall and winter, but what I love about summer is just no school. Like I, I like the heat, not a huge beach fan. Like I really would rather be in the mountains over the beach, but, um, I do like not having school. I'll tell you that. I just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all kind of like a review of my sophomore year and how it went because um, I kind of had some big changes going on and then my plans for this summer so I'm super excited. So basically um, I did my freshman year. I graduated high school in 2017 and then I did my freshman year at Mississippi State in Starkville, Mississippi and I was a pre-vet major, very gung-ho, like gonna be a vet, like that's it, that's the plan, that's the plan I had for like my whole life. I had always, always wanted to work with animals and I somewhat soon became to realize um, after my first semester that that just, I didn't know if that's what I wanted to do and it was really hard for me. I did not want to accept it. I felt like, um, just kind of personal I guess, but I, I felt almost like a failure for not wanting to be a vet because that's what I said I wanted to be um, just all my life. And that's what I had always told everybody. That was the reason I went to Mississippi State, so for their pre-vet program so I could get into their vet school. Like I had the next like eight to 10 years of my life like just all planned out, like very serious, like that's what I wanted to do. And then I went back to freshman year and I, I truly did love Mississippi State and everybody from Mississippi State, I'm so thankful for all of y'all and um, just everything y'all did for me and loving me and even though y'all called Cheese Dip Rotel, I still love y'all. Mm. Mississippi people are weird, let me tell I'm just kidding. But um, I did decide, once I decided like over the summer, like, oh my gosh, I want to change my major, I knew exactly kind of what I wanted to change it to but I was really nervous because I didn't know much about the major and I was really just kind of like all over the place with it just unsure I'm a very indecisive person indecisive person when it comes to anything whether that's choosing um what dipping sauce I want for my food or where I'm gonna go to college I'm very indecisive so it was really really hard for me um just to kind of make up my mind about everything and to admit it and to tell my family and of course they were very very super supportive but anyways um basically i decided to transfer like uh, probably like a month before school started so it was really really stressful because i had to figure everything out um because everything like worked out in like such a small short amount of like time it made me feel like everything was like falling into place like it should be even more if that makes sense so that all happened so i was living at home again going driving about like 40 minutes to school um and i had changed my major to nutrition and i was really nervous because number one i really knew nothing about this major i knew nothing like previously for pre-vet like i knew all the like vet schools out there like i knew you needed this and this and this and this i just knew all because i had like just researched it so much and now I knew nothing I was a big major newbie all this stuff but I'm so thankful that I transferred so thankful because I love Mississippi State and I love those people um and all that but I love my new major I love UCA I love my friends here the atmosphere atmosphere here I don't know that's hard for me to say but um and just everything I'm so so thankful um uh, I look back on sophomore year and yeah there were times that I was kind of like oh my gosh like did I make the right decisions especially at first um because I was just scared you know and it's like freshman year all over again like I had my friend Anna literally had to drive me around campus like show me this is where your class is this is where your class is because I had no idea um but it all worked out I'm so thankful so transferring I had my I changed my major um, of course, I loved this major. I've loved it so much. I've loved the opportunities. Like I, um, every, like every other Thursday, I get to go volunteer at the Arkansas Dream Center, 
and I help Mr. Howe, which is the cook there, and I help him cook the food, the snacks, the dinner. Um, we really don't cook the snacks, but like the dinners for the kids. Um, we cook like breakfast, like eggs, um, all of that. We cook like chicken, um, spaghetti. It's like chicken casserole. Um, just all that, and I love that. Um, I've gotten so many other opportunities, and I've just loved every minute of it. It was just super welcoming to me. So I'm very, very thankful for that. So sophomore year on the school end of things went really good. Um, yeah, classes, um, first semester classes weren't crazy hard. Chem 2 was pretty hard. Um, and not pretty hard, but it was, you know, Chem 2. No. And I got to hang out with like so many friends um, that I was like good friends with in high school, but like didn't get to, like I didn't hang out with that, with that, with as much as I do now and so that's really awesome that I've gotten like to like strengthen my relationships with them. I overall I really like I'm so lucky and I'm so thankful and blessed. Um so sophomore year honestly not many complaints. I guess like the biggest complaint would be um and a lot of people ask me like how bad the drive was back and forth from Conway to where I live and it honestly was not that bad because it was kind of like my me time um i usually either listen to podcasts i would listen to sermons or i would honestly just drive in silence because sometimes you just need quiet like you know what i mean especially whenever i'm about to go work with like a bunch of kids like woof, um overwhelming so um yeah another awesome opportunity that i got was i actually got to help a registered dietitian nutritionist um there was a company, they sent her a bunch of products, and we had to, um, they gave us like 15 recipes that we had to use their products to cook and to make, and so I got to help cook um, the foods, and then we had a, like, I had like a whole professional like setup, it was really cool to take pictures of and stuff, so that was really awesome, and like, just even doing that, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, like one day this is gonna, or hopefully, um, this is gonna be me, like that's, I don't know, that's just really exciting, and just sounds like that doesn't even sound like to work to me like it, it was just purely fun honestly so so first things first is i really am gonna try to upload a video once a week maybe even more if i get time if i have the time like i say that now but um i really do want to get better about uploading like consistently um number two um I actually am a little bit nervous about this, but I'm actually getting my wisdom teeth out this like coming Monday. So, um, be on the lookout on my Instagram story because knowing me, I'm probably going to post a video and I'm like, Ugh. like <laughs> that was such an ugly face, but like my face all blown up and blood and stuff. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, um, go follow me at radmads, um, underscore. I think there's an underscore after that. Um, but yeah third huge thing i'm so excited for this summer is i am actually studying abroad in florence italy oh my gosh i'm so excited um i'm gonna be gone for three weeks from like june to july um i'm so excited like i could actually cry i've always 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 wanted to study abroad i didn't know if i was ever gonna actually get to do it um but i mean I like I don't know I'm just so excited I can't wait for that I can't wait for the videos like I love like going on trips and like videoing it and like looking back like it just makes me so happy I can't wait I can't wait for the dang food oh my gosh I'm gonna be eating so much I actually part of like my project for like while I'm over there is like have to cook a meal for like, everybody so that's gonna be really excited I wonder what I'm gonna cook um I'm gonna get to go to a wine vineyard and do a wine tasting so that's gonna be really awesome so excited for that and then this is really towards the end of summer but i will be moving um up to conway in uh, the beginning of august with my two roommates annie and maddie may i'm so excited oh my gosh to live with them i actually just bought a chair for our apartment today and it's so dang cute it's like this like wooden swivel chair oh my gosh i can't wait like all of our we all have like not to like brag of myself or whatever but we all have like such good like the same style like we all kind of agree on it so it's so like perfect it's gonna be like boho chic and i actually started like filming whenever we were like looking for apartments and all that so i'm gonna have a video of like us like moving in when we get our keys like actually like decorating everything so i'm so excited for that 
and then lastly this will be after school starts but i'm gonna count it as summer but my sister will be having her baby girl harper kate i cannot wait for her oh my gosh she's gonna be the cutest most spoiled best dressed little girl there is best believe i have already started looking online um me and her will be matching multiple times i will tell you that um she's gonna have some great kicks i've been looking for some um Nike Air Force Ones for her because she's got to have one. I mean, they're a staple, obviously. Um, <laughs> but I'm so excited. Um, her due date is August 26th as of now. But of course, you know, that's always subject to um, come early or come late. So hopefully um, everything will go great with that pregnancy and the birth. The, I don't know the right words to say that. But I'm so excited for that. I... I already love this little girl so much. It's so freaking crazy. But that's kind of all I have, like, big plans for this summer. Um, I'm sure I'm going to be probably going to the lake. Hopefully, I love the dang lake. Super excited for this summer. I honestly, I'm like, tomorrow, I don't even have, like, anything to do until 1030. And that is just purely, like, amazing. Um, I think I'm going to wake up and go to yoga. But um, I'm just super excited. Um, for this summer and for the season coming up and everything to come. So I'm going to bring you all along with me. I'm super excited. Um, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you can stay right with Mads. I will see you all later. And